So after working on this beauty you see behind me for about a year, I've decided it's time to sell the bus. But first, let me walk you through it so you can kind of see what we're talking about. And then if you're interested, you can contact me. I'll give you my contact information again at the end, but you can contact me by sending a message to this account that you see this video on. Okay, so let me show you the arrangement in our camping formation. So like when we're actually camping, you'll notice that there's, I'll show you the difference here in a little bit, but right now this is a bed. It also turns into the area where we, uh, the family can ride when we're driving. And also um, there's a table that goes here. We'll see that in a bit. Right now we've got the toilet over here. This is a portable toilet. You can use this curtain to pull it around and hook onto this clamp and then you've got privacy in the toilet. Um, and it's next to the door so that you can carry it out. Um, we've got a basic sink. I say basic because this is sort of like a, was it gonna be a temporary kind of setup? But it is a sink that works. It drains. Um, our electrical is really basic too. It's basically extension cords and stuff like that, but um, it does work. It's it's the kind of thing that you'll either, you know, that somebody um, will want to um, put more work into. That was one of the projects we're gonna do. Of course, we have an air conditioner and it runs on um, standard shore power. So you'd have to do that. Um, the way that we arrange this is my wife and I sleep up here um, and the kids can, we have, that can be used as a bed down there, or it can be used as a storage either way. And then basically the front of the bus we've left pretty much how it was. Um, so not much is different there. Now the air conditioner, um, the, uh, this air conditioner, the dash air conditioner, we had it working and then I did some work to take down the back air conditioner back there and I had to pull a couple of lines. So um, a mechanic or an air conditioner professional should be able to get that working um, and, you know, up and running, but we hadn't needed to because it hadn't been hot uh, this uh, so, since we did that. Okay, let me change this arrangement and you could see um, see the difference. Okay, now you can see the seating arrangement. So we have kids in car seats, so these are car seat capable seats. They have um, three, I believe it's three, two or three sets of um, word uh, for that, word for that, um, seat belts. They've got seat belts here. They do have seat belts here. You gotta pull them through the thing, but it's really easy. Um, you may be wondering about this apparatus. This I made to take off. There's some pins here. So in the other arrangement, that's the table. I'll show you in a second. Um, these pins pop out and then you can have a, you know, kind of that open space you saw in the previous video. By the way, you might be wondering about a refrigerator. There's a refrigerator under there, runs on shore power, um, insignia, um, small fridge. So um, runs well. Are you wondering what this is? I'll show you this in a minute. It's a little table. Okay, let me uh, let me reset and I'll show you the table arrangement. Okay, a total of about 25 seconds has passed while I had the camera off and now you can see this went up very easily. It has a little um, hinge bracket back here that when you lift it pops off and uh, so the whole thing lifts up. You pull that post out and then right back here that just uh, as it goes up, it pops out, and I usually slide it back here. So it's a nice, simple maneuver. Okay, let me show you a little table we made for outside. Okay, probably about another 30 seconds to set this up. This is, it just brackets onto the side of the bus, and it's a little foldable table. It's made out of metal. This metal came from the interior of the bus, and um, we've used this to put our Coleman stove on and cook and do things like that. It's nice because it's right next to the door, so you can kind of come out. The other thing is our kitchen area inside is right here, so you can pass things down from this if somebody's out here. Okay, let me show you the truck bed we made. So our DIY, I'll, I'll call it our truck bed, but we built this out of steel. It's nice and solid. This is a Westinghouse auto start generator. Runs on propane or gasoline. I will sell this with the bus or I'm happy to keep it for, uh, and knocks, knock um, some off the cost. So as you can see, 
these tracks are actually part of the truck bed. I'll show you how they go together, but I use them to get the generator up there to start with. Okay, that took about a minute or so, and I didn't hurt myself, so that's good. So the track, as you can see, then becomes the back. Now, my next project is to put pins in here. I've actually just zip-tied it in the past, but put uh, metal linch pins in here to hold this in place. Um, and then um, a couple of notes on this. The um, This is power to the, uh, to the interior of the bus, so... Um, I don't know, you know, it's just power. This thing is an auto start, it's got a little controller. So a lot of times we'll actually run it while we're driving so that we can have the rooftop air conditioner running as a kind of a standard RV practice there. Um, we always lock this down with a, uh, with a lock. And we also have, um, we have, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, a rain cover for it. Here's the number, by the way, iGen 4500DF. Really cool generator, really like that thing. By the way, I put in a little tab here that um, can, this is like the receiver size to hold a um, propane tank, so, which is what that is. So if you have to carry propane, um, you can carry it on the back. Okay, I wanna show you um, kind of how this arrangement works. So if you take the back off, you can actually open this all the way or, even as is, you can open it like this. Now underneath here, I've got a spare tire. I've got um, propane hookups. I've got um, a jack, various things like that. And that just slides under there. Uh, all of this, these panels for the bed lift up if you need them to. Um, they're they're um, belted down right now, but um, they lift up. So you can actually store quite a lot in there if you need to. We don't really have much we need, but, um, and then you close this down. And that's that. So now I want to come along to the side and show you what we installed here. Okay, so we're on the side of the bus. You can see the air conditioner up top, by the way. Um, we installed that. It was uh, a good install. And then we also installed this. This is a um, this is a toolbox. It's got this little gasket here to keep the rain out. And we riveted it, but it opens up. And we've got all of our stuff in here for camping and whatnot. By the way. There is a brand new battery right there. You'll see it's not plugged up. The, the vehicle will run without it plugged up, but that's the next thing I need to do is plug that back up. Um, in the winter, I will uh, sometimes unplug a battery and stuff like that, but that one's unplugged because I just got it recently because um, I realized because this is a diesel, it um, has two batteries in the system and the one that was under there um, had really deteriorated. Uh, when we got it, it was a little bit hazy on the uh, coloring. So we did buff it quite a bit and try to get it shiny. And with some more work, it really could, it really could buff out more. We, uh, we kind of, you know, moved on to other projects because we weren't too concerned. I uh, siliconed places where we removed mirrors and stuff. Those could be painted over. Um, all the lights work. It is diesel. Um, it's a uh, G3500, um, trying to think of other things you might want to know. It has, oh, it does have a little dent up there. Uh, we suspect that could be fixed by pulling that panel, hammering it out, but it wasn't that important to us, honestly. Um, it might could use a paint job, but, um, I don't know. So that's the, that's the basics of it. Um, as far as the, I don't know what you call it, the cockpit, um, so these are still connected and they can be used, but there's not a whole lot of use. The heater is in there um, if if needed. Now, one thing that I really love about all this is that this is all metal. It's built like a tank. Um, buses are built to be safe. Um, they're built high off the ground so that even side impacts are, um, you know, just, you know, really safe. You can't be in a vehicle that's much more safe than a bus, except for maybe an armored vehicle or something like that. Um, so it's very safe, but we also really like that we can put magnets anywhere and magnets with clamps. And by the way, this is a, this curtain closes so that you can, um, you can be closed in all these, um, all these, um, uh, curtains are easy to, easy to remove. We usually store stuff down in there. And um, let's see, there's a compartment here that's pretty handy. 
we put stuff in there, especially when we're camping. And uh, this electrical compartment, you can see, hey, there's a little spider up there. Um, one thing I like about the electrical stuff in a bus is it's real big and it's robust. It's, it's serious fuses and, um, you know, quite a bit of power that runs through here. And if you have any knowledge of electrical, you can kind of look at this and make sense of it which is kind of hard on some vehicles, but on this, it's pretty straightforward. Um, all, you'll also notice that the wires are labeled. And so you you could track that wire, this uh, aux circuit 01. I know for a fact that aux circuit 01 runs down through here because I saw it, it was labeled. So that's the cool thing. One cool thing about all this. Um, oh, another thing is I ran a, um, a, a backup camera. There's a little backup camera right here and it's mounted right at the very back pointing out. And so you can see your truck bed down there and uh, you can see kind of what's going on. So the whole vehicle is, um, is, you know, still a work in progress. There's quite a bit to do, but you don't get one of these unless you want to work on them. I would personally suggest that the person that wants a vehicle like this probably ought to be a decent mechanic. We don't have any mechanical problems on this thing, but it is an older vehicle and um, it's the kind of vehicle that you're going to want, you're going to be tinkering with probably eventually. Right now, it's in great running condition and we haven't had any, almost said medical, uh, any mechanical problems. Um, but, you know, any vehicle like this, eventually you'll have to do some work and that's just kind of the nature of it. This vehicle has a little north of 150,000 miles on it. And for a diesel, you can get diesel, you can get a lot more miles than that out of a diesel if you take care of it. And um, it seems like it's been taken care of pretty well, honestly. Um, also, one thing I'm now remembering, this is the water hookup under here. Um, this is the grate on the side, of course. And so when I need to hook up to water, I hook it up to that hose. And then that's the drain pipe. You'll notice it's a small drain pipe because it's just from the sink. It's not a toilet drain pipe. For the toilet, what you would do for that is you just push this back and this is a cassette style toilet. Um, you just pull this whole thing out and um, you can research these. These are made by Thetford, Thetford, sorry, Thetford. And uh, they're just a really good design. So they're nice and nice and easy. Um, so in my mind, this is a beautiful vehicle. If it's not a beautiful vehicle for you, then it's not for you. But those of you that understand what I'm talking about, it's a really cool and fun thing to have. Okay, so right now we are running completely on generator power. This is on, air conditioner's running, our lights are on, our fridge is on. I'll show you what we've got back here. And all of it's happening with this generator here. now. It may sound loud uh, on the video, but it's very quiet for a generator. I mean, I'm sitting here talking and I could have a conversation right here. So it's a really nice um, generator. Now, if somebody wants to buy this bus without the generator, no problem. It would still, you know, it still work. You could fit, you could fit a pretty big generator in this, uh, in this spot. So, um, so yeah, pretty cool setup, I think. We got six fresh tires, um, good tread, and um, so, and they're good solid truck tires. I don't remember what the ply is on them, but it was more substantial tires than I've ever purchased. So, um, but we found them for a pretty reasonable price from a guy in town. It took some shopping to find some that um, were in good shape. Um, and also weren't brand new. Brand new ones were pretty expensive, and so I was looking to, I was looking to get some that were like a year old, and I found some um, from uh, two or actually I think three different shops. I I kind of pulled them all together, so did the legwork there, so you don't have to. So thanks for taking a look at our bus. If you'd like to contact me about purchasing it, or if you just have questions about your own conversion, you can send me a message through the account that you're watching this video on. Thanks for watching.